Hi everyone, this video will show you how to design a 8 element jaggy antenna. There will be something like this with a bomber and a demo like 3 element jaggy antenna. Okay, so and we'll also show you the comparison of the far field between the 3 element and the 8 element. So it's obviously the gain of the 3 element is lower than the gain of the 8 element. Okay, so you can see from here, yeah, this is 10. 0.64 dBi and the three element only like 8.678 dBi and we can compare at the 1D plot here you can see the angle of the three element is 61.8 and for the 8 element will be lower 53.3 degree because it's more focused because of the high gain okay so this tutorial will show you like how to design the Yagi antenna and here we will go for the theory so for Yagi antenna right, you need to remember you of course you have a typo to radiate the signal okay and then after that you will have a reflector to reflect the signal bounce back to front that means right it's directional okay don't let the signal of the monopole at no of the dipole go to the behind after the reflector that's why they have a reflector here so this one will become a directional okay so the director actually is like guide, guide the wave to the front and then if you increase the director, of course you will increase the gain but you will narrow the pin width, okay? So, uh, and then the bone, this the bone, right? The past, actually it's a, like a plastic or outgrid, you can just like to hold the, uh, the wire in the road, okay? Next, um, okay, this one they call it three element yagin, that's why they have three element. But some they doesn't include the element, the reflector and the typo. They just name it element one here, two, three, four. Okay. So um, depend on depend how you're going to define it. Okay. So next is like the calculation. So the calculation for the driving element, the driving element that means the typo. This one. Okay. So I minimize it. So the driving element right is. The dipole, so this one is you can use either the range from here from 0 0.458 lambda until 0 0.5 lambda. So lambda is your frequency. That's why Yagi antenna is resonant. Okay, then length of the reflector. So, of course, the reflector will be greater than the dipole. So, you can see from behind here, it's longer the length. And the reflector one, reflector, uh, not the reflector, director one, director two, and three. And then the spacing between the director, so 0 0.2. Okay, so the reflector dipole spacing is like 0 0.35, and the dipole to the reflector spacing is 0 0.125 lambda. Okay, for this kind of like the spacing, right? Um, as long as you have some space, right, actually they can radiate, so you can try to play around the, the distance, the spacing. Okay, so I will show you how to design this in CST. And then this one is the example in CST, you can just play around. Okay, so for your exercise, right, you need to simulate like two 2.45 gigahertz Yagi antenna with two directors and six directors. That means like you will have six elements here and two elements. So you can check is like what is the difference of the gain. Okay, so you will display the result. Return loss, VSWR, radiation pattern, bandwidth, bandwidth and Gain and front to back ratio. This one you can refer to your note. In the basic uh, antenna, they have the fundamentals show you how to uh, check the ratio front and back pin width. Okay. So yeah, let's let's start. So this one is a CST. Okay, and then I will sh I have share you the reference is like from here. You can find this reference this side. Okay. So this is a reference. Okay, so I get the formula from here as well. So you can just follow and then you will get your antenna result. Okay, so we can say, okay, so this one is a director and then this one is a driven element, the dipole, and this one is a reflector. Okay, so the bulb. Okay, so what I have created for you guys is something like this. So let's say this one is a six element. Okay, uh, one, two, Two, three, four, five, six. Actually, it's like they call six director. Okay, so we can call it six director. And 
and then this one is the monopoke so I can cut it half okay so not this direction uh, something like maybe here okay so you can see the wire here actually is connected so something like this one so if I do it this way so you can see here is actually empty and the hot power source is here okay and then this one is the bone okay this one is the bone the they are bone okay and then this one is the reflector this one is the dipole okay so if you want to see dipole only you can just like hide all of this just hide it so this is a dipole antenna okay so when you design the Yagi antenna, you also design the dipole antenna. Okay. So if you want to check about your dipole, you can just simulate a dipole first and then you check is it 2.45. So something like this. Okay, so is it 2.45? You can just choose like minimum. Yeah, somewhere here. Okay. So okay, so this one is six element, and after that you also can check about the result first. I will show you the result. Okay, then before we start so the result will be the s1 okay so we have like 2.445 okay mm, 47 okay after we include the bone they become 27 okay it's okay so it's roughly 2.45 still and then next uh, the impedance is 50 ohm because we put our port is 50 ohm okay so the port is here is 50 ohm okay next we check we can check our bswr so it's like one point something so consider it's good okay if one is perfect so next um you can check by your 3d or 2d okay but important part is the far field 2.45 far field so when you click on 2.45 far field right so this one is your 2.45 far field and then you can check about the 3d as well so this one is the 3d view and the structure we Okay, so you can see the Yagi is here. Okay, quite transparent. Okay, so it's yeah, already shown. Okay. Sure. Okay, so yeah, this one is directional. So you can see your antenna is directional antenna. And if you check it in 2D, you can see the bin. The bin is this side. If you want to click on linear more clear, you can show it's something like this. So we compare with another uh, antenna with different uh, element like the director so this one is like three director okay so remember this gain is like uh, 10 and then the angular is 56 okay so of course you have smaller uh, lesser the director right that means you will have bigger bin, bin width okay so I'll show you here 61.8 okay so you can see 61.8 here and the gain is lower, slightly lower. So let's see, I linear 7.38. Okay, compare with the six element, you can see it's like 10. Okay, so this is a different. Okay, so this is a three element. This one is 3D. Okay, so you can see something like this. Okay, and this guy also, yeah, something like this. If you make it linear, they will look like this. Okay, so now, yeah, okay, I will show you how to design this one okay so you can see this one is without the bone okay of course we must have the bone mark okay the bone actually is like to hold logically to hold the uh all the road okay the road okay once you fabricate of course you need something to hold the road this one is like actually the concepts working but just you need to something to hold it okay so this one is more reasonable okay and then why this one i doesn't put the road okay actually just for testing and then this one is to put the road and then actually the result is almost the same why? Because the material of the road, like right, the bone, right, the toy bone is like it's PT, it's PTFE, so it's like very really low loss material, 2.1 dietary constant, so it doesn't affect much. much. So this is like a plastic right, outplay, okay, so it's like hold it. Okay, so now we're going to start it. So another thing I want to show you is like future, right, you can just save this file, uh, all this parameter you have named it, right? With name everything you don't want to waste it you just right click and save it okay you can save it like maybe uh, antenna again antenna list 2 okay question 2 
Okay, when you save this right, and then after that, when you create a new file, okay, oops. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so first you can just right click here, load the parameter from the file, and Yagi and Jenna parameter. So, tada, so all the results here, all the parameter you list here. Okay, so step by step, uh, we're going to design from here. Okay, but you can see the result actually is from here. The all the parameter right is from this side. Okay, I'll show you one by one. You can see from here. Okay, so this one right. Okay, so you can check it's like the reflector I use like zero point five five. The drive driven element I use like zero point five. Okay, so it's in the range. Right? So director one I use like zero point four five. And director 2 I use for 0 0.40 director 3 is like 0 0.35 why I cannot put lambda if you put lambda on the formula line right, then you very difficult to do the uh, strip parameter they're not allowed because they only allow for value okay so for lambda you know uh, you can use the calculator to calculate but I changed to 110 okay to get 2.4 Okay, but originally you can use the calculator as well. Uh, frequency to lambda, wavelength. Okay, we can use this one. Okay, so let's say we have two point four five. Okay, then we have a lambda is in mm one two two point three. Okay, so we can put it one two two point three here first. Okay, before we do tuning. 122.3 okay so mm my unit is m mm okay next okay so here is clear okay then mm, everything is followed here so you can see the spacing 0 0.125 0 0.125 and then 0 0.35 0 0.35 okay so next you can just like go to here and click on modeling the road Okay, so we design the reflector first. So the reflector, and what is the thickness? Okay, of the road. That means right, your thickness of this cylinder. Okay, so the cylinder, this one we call it like D. So we D divide two. Okay, so we have like two m mm for this one. Okay, two mm, and we're going to go down and go up. Okay, what's mean? up and down right so you can just like it's like a z and z axis so it's z axis here that means my reflector length is this one right so negative uh, no reflector negative and then divide two uh, no lambda divide with two okay so this one and we make here okay why the length lambda and divide 2 because the formula the length of reflector okay you mean must times with lambda okay that's why I time your lambda but divide 2 because one half is going up half is going down so preview so you are something like this okay so this one is the road so we can use PEC or iron or aluminium is almost the same so I use PEC so now we have this one, okay, the reflector, okay, and then another one will be the dipole. So for dipole, we can name it like dipole, okay, and then d dy2, the diameter is the same, and then this one is the spacing for distant reflector. So we press like s reflector, and then this one is the dipole length, okay, so you can just choose like. L. Um, okay, driven element and time rate lambda dy2. Okay, then you can copy paste to here and then this one is negative. Okay, once you have this and then you can see the distance still is here. Okay, why? Because your spacing. Because your spacing is you need to time rate lambda as well. Okay, so time three lambda. Okay, so once you time three lambda, 
then you can see you have the distance like this. Okay, uh, it's something like this. Yes, and then why the size is greater? Okay, we can check why. This one should be smaller. Okay, but it's okay. Then we just try it first. So just press OK. Then you have a dipole here. Okay, usually dipole will be smaller than the reflector. So we can check on the reflector what happened. Okay, because we are not using the reflector, we have used the director. Okay, so um, okay, we can copy paste from here. Uh, we can't click on here okay so it's okay so you just like reflected okay so copy paste here and then remove the negative preview okay so of course the reflector will be greater than the dipole okay so now you have two another one so the director so we need to create something like the director here okay so this one is like we call it director one. Okay, so it's easy for you to understand. Divide two, the same this direction, and for this is like you have one reflector. Okay, another one is the director. Okay, so you can plus with director. Okay, but always remember you will have. Lambda, so you need to time shift lambda. Okay, so now it's done, and then for z min z max is is the same. So just now it's like l director one, yes. Okay, but you need to time shift lambda. Okay, so this one done. Oops. You need to put like negative here and positive is here. Okay, so preview. Okay, why is bigger? Because we haven't divide two. Okay, once done, right? Divide two, divide two. So you have a director now. So once you have a director here, okay, you can put another director. Okay, so the director is something like this. Uh, another director is somewhere here or you can refer to the link something like another director so something like this okay add on okay so let's say uh just want to have another one right so first we can go to this side okay we can copy this first okay so next we just like create another one Okay, so this is a distance, the spacing. Okay, so your director need to times two because you have two space now. Okay, and then this one is still the same, the divide two. And how about this one? This one will be it's the same, the L director two. Okay, the size slightly different. So lambda divide two. So you have this now, and then you need to put like negative for this. Okay, up and down. Okay, so you have another one. Okay, so this one one and two. So you have you need to create another one. If you want to create another one, you just like get another one. So this one we can rename it like director two. Okay, so when you can see like one and two, right, and then three and four actually should be almost the same. Uh, okay, so we can look at the formula. So 3 is like 0 0.35, so we can make it like actually the same after that, okay, become like constant. Okay, so let me simulate the 3 element for you. So we need to do another one, it's like director 2, director 3. Okay, so this one will be d divided 2 and this one will be same as this one, no, this one is for this and this one will be negative and lambda. For this okay so for here for here will be the s reflector and the x for dipole okay plus s for dipole and then multiply by three because now it's like space with three okay 
So after that, you need to multiply with lambda. Okay. So preview, you will have another one here. Okay. So okay, now you're done for this, right? And then you need to duplicate for. Uh, you need to design a what do you call dipole slot here, something like dipole, right? So you can see they have a slot here. Okay. So this one you need to create like a cylinder. Okay. And then the spacing, of course, is reflected. So they were starting from here. Okay, so next, <coughs> the radius is the same. Okay, so next for another one, right, is like the director is like 3 times the lambda divide 2. And then this one negative. Okay, then you copy paste to here. Okay, so you preview. <coughs> oh, okay, so this one is like for the reflector here, right? So, okay, so my mistake. So you need to go for like lambda times with this one. Okay, and this one will be, you will put it like, maybe we ignore it first. Okay, so you can see something like here starting. Now, we're going to have a slot here, so the R is our length for the discrete part. Okay, so the R divide 2. And another R is also divide 2. So R divide 2. Okay, so we have the length is like that means 4 mm. So you have C 4 mm here. Okay, so we call this one is like a port slot. Okay, so we need to make a slot for the port. Okay, so our dipole, we need to boolean subtract. We need to remove the hole, the slot here. Just enter. Okay, after we have a slot here, right? So you can see this one is already looks like Yagi. And then you can put, you can choose like S, uh, you can click on Ctrl S, choose the pig face of the circular circumference. And then here, okay, the circle here. And you just click on simulate and discrete pot. Okay, so you can see they have the pot now and just press OK. So remember it's 50 ohm because our SMA is 50 ohm. Okay. Okay, so done. Okay, so done for this. Now you are complete actually. Okay. So what else we're going to do is set the frequency. So let's say we set the frequency 1 to 6 GHz and we set the boundary condition, open space, yeah, because it's all open, right? And yeah, I think we can simulate now. If you want to check, okay, this is all the monitor, right? We will check the S11 first after only we do the far field monitor. So we just press start. Okay, so I will pause it first and then after that I will run it. Okay, once complete, I will run it, okay? Okay, so once done, uh, it's take around like two minutes. Okay, so just like see the S11. Okay, so let's check about the S11. So it's like 2.215. Okay, so that's why we can do like parameter sweep to check our result. Okay, to tuning. Uh, okay, so you just click on parameter sweep. So parameter sweep here, you can just choose anything that you want to do the parameter for sweep. Okay, but I found out it's like you can change about the reflector spacing. Okay, or you can change about the lambda. Okay, so let's say the lambda, we make it like 90 to 150. Okay, so the total will be like 7 because 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So we choose it 7. Press OK, then we press Start. Okay, then we will have like seven result. Okay, so yeah, wait for a while. They're simulating the first result. So yeah, I will pause it and then uh, once finished, then I will resume back. Okay, so it's almost finished. 
okay so yeah we will see the result later once seven is done then we have the result okay we roughly have the result now so you can see they have like lambda like 90 110 and 102 okay so let's see the result okay once you do the tuning right so you can find like which result is suitable so can see like 2.45 something this one uh, wait for a while until they finish and stable the result okay once you're done right okay so we will check the result so which one is better so this one this one is lambda 110 Okay, so we will choose like lambda 110 for our result. Okay, you can just like only select the 110. Okay, so this is the result. Okay, so we will change our parameter to 110. So let's say our parameter of lambda is like 110. Okay, so we choose this one. Then, yeah, if you want to delete all the result, yeah, you can. But before this, I think I prefer is you have your all of your result, right? So you can choose it like you can set it in folder like compare lambda okay so you paste it here oh only one result because you just choose one so let's, let's choose all okay so i choose all and i put it here so you can see you have all the result here okay so now you know that lambda 110 is the best right so for your case then you can just choose from here 110 then they will ask you to delete all the result yes Okay, once done, next will be you need to put like file monitoring simulation. You need to go to component. Uh, okay, F7. Okay, field monitor and then choose the file field. And you can choose like the whole transcend broadband, or yeah, we can choose this one for like better view. And oops. Uh, apply another one is like 2.45 okay so now we have all of this it's so 15 yes I think it's fine okay so done then you can just simulate again okay then you need to wait for a while because when they have the broadband right it takes some times okay so just wait for a while okay it's done it's take around like three minutes okay so next, okay, we will check about the S11. Um, okay, so they already compared. So the current run is which result? Okay, so one one. This is the current result. No, okay, yeah, this one is current result. Okay, so done. So it's 2.45, then we check our file field, 2.45 here. Okay, so you can see your directional antenna. Okay, this is your directional antenna. If you can't see the structure, you just take on here. So the structure is here. Okay, so you can see it's directional. Okay, and then you also can check on your 2D plot. Okay, when 2D plot is something like this because the plot, they cut it half. Okay, when they cut it half, actually it's not suitable for directional light. My tutorial that I show you. So zero apply. So you have a direction like this. Okay, so this one is your angle. Okay, so done for your uh three element. So when you're gonna go for six, seven, eight, nine, right? Okay, so I will show you like maybe we make it like uh eight element. So it's something like this. Okay, so we will save this first, of course. Okay, so we save this like mm, demo. Demo three element. Okay, so how about another one? We will be like, of course, you will save another one. Okay, one. Okay, so another one will be save as demo light eight element. Okay, so let's try. Is it possible? 
So add element, you will go for refactor tree, right? You can just like right click and transform. And then you can make it like something like this. One, oops, uh, okay, the distance first. So the distance, we're going to go in front, right? So you can see the axis is X. So this one will be your, again, your parameter. This one is your spacing. Okay, so you can see preview. Is it? Oh, lambda. Lambda. So preview, you can see one is going in front. Okay, if you had to duplicate like, so now you have like one, two, three, right? So you want to be have like, you need five. So one, two, three, four, five. So, okay. Okay, so now you have five. Okay, I remove this one, the working space. So you can see you have five, you have eight now. Okay, so if you want to make the boom, right? The boom. Okay, so you can design the boom. But the boom will roughly shift your result. Okay, but it's okay, we can just test it. So the boom is something like this. You can just like duplicate uh, things from here, and then this one is like we call it boom. Okay, so we can make it like maybe the D is divided by 2, it's the same. Negative. Okay, and then this one's got negative. Uh, positive so this one negative this one positive okay and then so it's something like this uh, okay so oh it's the uh, y and x x and z so s and z is something like this so your y your y is going to in front okay so yeah okay my mistake so yeah your y will be let's say your lambda we can use this one uh, negative and this one will be negative and then times with lambda and then let's let's see something like this okay so you have something like this now okay a uh, road and then how many lambda you have actually so long right so maybe you need to times with Eight element, right? Mm, I think eight will be not enough because you ngam ngam, you have eight only here. So maybe you can put it twelve. So that is yes. So you press OK. Okay, so now you have something like this. Okay, then maybe I can remove this one. Uh, I can change to other material. Okay, you can change to maybe um, or define the new material. Okay, so let's say we define a new material. Define a 2.1 or a plastic 2.1, we can make it like 2.1, and then we change the color to maybe a bit black. Okay, so something like this. Um, okay, done. Okay, so we have a boom now. Okay, so but we need to insert. Okay, what do we mean? Need to insert is something like this. So you need to choose the bone and the boom and insert. All of this okay then press enter okay after we insert right so you can see actually they have the hole here so what does that mean is something like yeah you can see they have a hole okay otherwise you don't have the hole okay but unfortunately here you don't have the hole okay it's slightly different with this one why because you have the slot for the subtract for the pop slot Okay, so for the pot slot, right, you can design again one of the pot slot. So we can just actually like copy, copy it. So uh, divide two, okay, so we can design another one. Okay, so we're going to define something here and to subtract it, okay. So this one, we just click on here and we have, we call it like pot slot again, maybe uh, slot two. Mm, or oh yeah, two I mean name it two is okay. So we already copy paste the distance, right? So this one will be your D divide two and this one will be your negative R divide two and R divide two. So this one you can put any material is okay. So now you have here. Okay, you can see it's here. Okay, so now you will have something here and then just press like okay. Okay, so you have something here now. And then you will 
use your this one okay to cut it okay but careful because now you have like extra okay for our cat is should be like smaller so we can make it like smaller this one the sort okay maybe it's like a bit shorter so maybe divide four okay divide four okay something here okay so it looks good okay now it's like something like this and then you will make a hole here okay so you will like home and then subtract it the slot okay ta -da, now it's like empty now right okay so it's a whole how okay so this one done now you can simulate for this one okay so let's simulate it run and simulate okay uh, if okay you can simulate it and then let's see what happened okay so i will pause it and then after that i will resume okay so once done the simulation right then we will check on the result so let's check what this one went. so yeah slightly move shift a bit okay so it's not longer 2.45 but still below negative 10 so we can still refer on it okay so next can refer to 2.45 so you can view on the 3d okay still looks good okay still direction okay so this one is the broadband okay so what we want to compare actually is the gain okay so the gain is 11.58 okay but how about db 10.64 okay we go back and open back the just now the file demo three element okay so what is the db so the eight we will get like 10 okay so the three db we will get 8.68 okay so you can view on 3d as well 8.68 so it's like extra 2 okay but the bin width yes so you can check the bin width is like 53.3 .3, and the bin width for this one is 61.8 so this one can cover more range okay cover the range uh, degree compared with the 8 uh, element but this one it will be greater gain okay Okay, when you simulate like for broadband, right? So the far field broadband like this, okay, you can actually play around like just right click and have the animate. Okay, if like 2.45, you don't have the animation. Okay, you can click on the animation. When you have broadband, because there is like they simulate from 1 gigahertz until 6 gigahertz from your frequency range. Huh? Okay, so we can play around. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Yeah, this is how it looks like. So when I click on linear, yeah, you can see it's like going behind but they can't come out from the reflector so don't worry so always like here on here only because of the reflector so you can see the gain is reducing and increasing okay depend on frequency so let's check it out it's something like this uh, let's pause it okay something like this so let's say let's say we have a s11 very poor s11 in one gigahertz okay so we just choose it and properties Let's say one gigahertz we put enter so one gigahertz is like the gain is like you can see 31.30 or linear is like 13.46 okay this one is like looks good right but actually it's not that okay because your s11 is not mesh okay so when you plug in the sma connector it's not mesh so you can use this so of course we can use is like the range is here and then check about the gain so let's say we choose it like maybe another one like 3 gigahertz okay what happened so it's like 2.319 okay so the gain is like 3.6 something uh. okay and then how about we choose like 5 gigahertz okay so it becomes 6 point something and but it go behind okay you can see the the radiation is behind so yeah something like like this okay they go behind okay but the s1 is also not that okay okay it's 5 gigahertz so you can see 5 gigahertz is here really low s1 that means they actually cannot send out the signal as well because they only have negative 1 db okay so this is how you analysis your result and for the front and back loop right so you can play around here
So you have, let's say, 2.4, right? So, you know, this one is the main loop, and then this one is the front loop, and then this one is the back, right? So you can just choose like, okay, and then you can choose the result here, and then you can compare it. Okay, so that's all, guys. Thanks.